Alrighty, welcome back to another Conquering the Hardest Holes in Golf. Here at Ken McDonald, Ken and Mac, as I like to call it here around the locals. I'm gonna go try to conquer uh, the hardest hole in golf on this golf course. I think it's hole number two. Not quite sure. We're gonna go check it out. So I'm here with Elliot, one of the teaching instructors out here at Kim McDonald. I'm gonna let Elliot introduce himself. How long have you been working here? I've been here for three years. Uh, love it. The course today is in the best shape it's been in, and people say 30, 35 years in great condition. My background is I played a little bit of football with Dallas Cowboys as a wide receiver with Dallas. All right. But I was on the U.S. national track and field team. I picked to win the Olympics in 1984. Wow. Ago. <laughs> Just but, a humble brag. Yeah, Just a humble yeah, brag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I find that, uh, that, that golf is, is probably the most challenging sport uh, intellectually and uh, spiritually and visually. It's a great sport, a sport you can play for the rest of your life for a long, long time. So I enjoy the game of golf. As it relates to Kim McDonald Golf Course, in this particular course, the handicap, number one handicap, is on the card. Uh, they say it's number two. Number two. two. Mm -hmm. number two exactly. Uh -huh. Do you think it's the hardest hole? No, on that hole, I'm, I'm expecting, I am a golf professional, by the way, today, and I teach golf here at the Kim McDonald Golf Course. Uh, I'm, I'm expecting, in my mind, to make birdie on number two. two. It's a, real, it's a long hole, it's the longest hole we have out here, but it's fairly straight and fairly straightforward. So you guys heard it here from a man. So hole number two, I'm expecting to birdie here. Par five, I birdied, no actually I parted earlier when I played it today, so I'm gonna get a little, re, re, little bit revenge on this golf hole. I'm already two over in my series, so this one is gonna really help me out. But we do have a west wind coming out this way. Plays 570. It's probably going to be playing closer to 600 yards. Is that the normal wind, or is it normally coming out in that different direction? I uh, normally in a different direction. Every once in a while, it, that will make it tough. We have the wind coming out of the west, right into west. us. That's, that's kind of tough because it's. Well, you heard it. I got a challenge today. <laughs> really appreciate it. My pleasure. Alrighty. So we got the clear to go. Gonna hop in a golf cart right here. Then we're gonna go hole, up to hole number two. See if I can make a birdie. Welcome to hole number two. Well, if we look at the scorecard here, this is actually not my scorecard, so don't worry about these numbers right there. Actually, they play pretty good. But what we're looking at is here is number two, 570, the hardest hole on this golf course. So from right here, 570 yards, straight down this little tube chute. Now, this little tube chute right here is one of the first things I noticed when I played this hole. Trees to the right, trees to the left. And this thing extends all the way a good 70 yards down and then dips down into a goalie and then the fairway starts. So if you don't hit it at least 120 to 30 yards off this tee box, you're not gonna make it past the tee boxes. Now, as we talked about before, this hole is all decided by length. Almost 600 yards. I'm gonna have to rip a driver and I'm gonna have to rip a three wood to get this ball up by that green. With the wind playing just a little bit into me here, I'm gonna take this over the right side. The trees are a little bit lower on the right side than the left side. So I'm gonna try to hook one over these trees and get that thing tumbling down the left side.
well, a little Healy Dan, but right down the tube chute. So you can see how skinny this little tee shot really is. Not the most difficult, but it definitely will make you think about it, and especially if you're a low ball hitter. This will definitely make you uh, a little bit nervous in the pants trying to get it by these trees and these trees right here. You also have some power lines that are right there that occasionally those power lines will get in the way, knock your ball down. You do get to re-tee it if you do hit one of those power lines though, so really not that big of a deal. Pretty sure I just felt my cart start to die, so we better make this quick. Take a look back at this tee shot and just how tight it is. Right up there, that's the little tube chute that we came out of. So I have well over 300 yards from right here going straight back that way into the sun. Can't really see it right now because of the sun. If I zoom in up to the left up there, Right over there, there's a bunker that protects this green. Off to the right, that's where normally everybody misses. Try to play down that cart path, get the left kick, then you have a nice little easy pitch to the back pin. Alrighty. Give her all she got here. Really no game plan, just fire away. Try to miss on the right side. It's right over there by the car path like we talked about. Alright. Now, I did exactly what I talked about. I played it down this right side, the car path right here. I'm pretty sure it hit the car path and kicked to this spot. And now I have a pitch, which is fairly simple. It should be at least. I got about a 50 yard pitch shot or so, but I need to land this just short of this hill. There's actually a ridge on this green that I'll show you guys here in just a second that runs all the way from the left side all the way to the right side and it splits this green right in half. Whether that pins on the back side or the front side, that's going to determine what kind of shot you want to hit. Here, I'm going to try to get something low, hitting it into that hill, skip up, roll out, bingo, for the three. I'm gonna try to hit a low little runner. Hit this right in the middle of that little hill there. And release back. Take that. So before I do putt this birdie putt that I have right there, which is about eight feet away, just wanted to show you guys what this green looks like. It's tough to see right now because of the shadows, but this is that ridge that I was talking about. It goes all the way across the green. I'm walking up it right now, and it goes back on this other side. So there's pretty much two parts to this green. This side, and then that side over there. This pin, basically on the back side of it, left side, so it's not the easiest pin, but it's definitely not one of the most difficult. Whenever they decide to put those pins right on this ridge right here, especially a front pin where you have to play with this bunker right there, it can be very, very tricky. There's a back bunker that they have in the back right over here that really I don't think ever comes into play unless you skinny one or do something weird because you ain't getting there in two, I can promise you that. And they also have a front bunker, which this bunker actually does come into play. And this is one of the reasons that some people will choose to lay short. In this bunker, you never know what kind of lie you're gonna get. And also to a back pin back there, that is not an easy golf shot. But I didn't hit it there. I played it down the right side like you're supposed to, down the cart path. And now I'm looking at about an eight footer for birdie. What's going on? Oh, you gotta change it? Yeah, yeah. Let me let me just finish it real fast. Yeah, it's okay, you just take it back. It's 
right now he's changing the hole, so I gotta make this real quickly. like that the hole goes from there to there number two ken mcdonald i got your number not the hardest hole in my opinion on this golf course but hey we don't go by that we go by the number one handicap hole on conquering the hardest holes in golf so thanks for watching guys leave a comment go press that like button subscribe tell somebody about this episode see if they can challenge the hardest hole maybe you can challenge the hardest hole maybe i'll challenge another hardest hole who knows? We'll just keep challenging each other.